Recently, the National Archives and Records Administration released the last 340 hours of Richard Nixon's White House tapes, and they prove definitively that he was an asshole. Another 700 hours of unreleased Nixon tapes have been sealed for reasons of national security and because they're mostly just blues jams. Of course, Nixon's famous downfall came because his paranoia was so out of control, he tapped his own phone. Ruthlessly political, Nixon was obsessed with destroying Ted Kennedy. Fortunately for him, so was Ted Kennedy. Today, police moved to prosecute the senator on a charge of leaving the scene of an accident. This morning, I entered a plea of guilty to the charge of leaving the scene of an accident. <clears throat> Many of the newly released conversations were recorded during Watergate, which changed politics so completely that all future scandals must contain the word gate. Soft and tan and yellow. His conversations from the spring of 1973 show a president so dispirited, he barely had the strength to blame the Jews. They put the Jewish interest above America's interest. It's about goddamn time that the Jew in America realizes an American person is Jew second. But I agree, the remarks are extremely, extremely uh, unpleasant. But in real life, he was the best friend the Jewish people of the world have ever had. For anyone who remembers those years, Nixon's impeachment is now considered the last time Congress did something right. To exercise its constitutional power to impeach Richard M. Nixon. The American dream, my God. What set you off that time? He cries all the time? No? No, but he's going through an emotional period too. Of course, much has changed since Nixon's time. Now the White House records everything we say. Does the NSA collect any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? No, sir. In what I thought was the most truthful or least untruthful manner by saying no. Scholars generally agree that while Nixon was far from our greatest president, he does hold the record for the most times using the phrase, sons of bitches. You know, it's funny, the little black kids are so unconscious.